Here we are again with Chuck Westfall of Canon USA. He's going to talk to us about uh, what do you have to show us? You have, the, you have a new lens for the Rebel. We saw the Rebel yesterday. Um, now we have a lens uh, that you've, you've come up with as well. Yeah, actually, this is a lens that we announced globally last year. It's the EFS 55 to 250 millimeter f4 to 5.6 lens with an image stabilizer. And uh, it's, it's available for the first time in the US this year. Uh, what's kind of interesting, interesting about this lens is the fact that it's a very uh, affordable lens. It's the most affordable telephoto zoom we've ever offered with stabilization. Uh, it'll retail for only $299.99. Okay, great. And then you have some power shots you wanted to show us as well. Yeah, actually, we're introducing four new power shots uh, here at the PMA show. Uh, to lead off, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the uh, power shot SD1100 IS Digital L. Now, this is the follow-up to last year's SD1000 model, which was the top-selling digital L of 2007. So compared to last year's model, what we've done on the SD1100 IS, first of all, as you can see, we're offering it in a range of colors. Uh, and that's kind of a reflection of the trend of the market, that, uh, that basically uh, personalization of your electronic accessories is, is very popular. We've seen it with the MP3 players, the cell phones, and even the laptop computers. So the digital cameras are now getting in on that trend. But uh, from a uh, feature standpoint, uh, what we've done is we've added image stabilization, which was not available on the SD-1000. Now this SD-1100 IS has IS, 3x optical zoom, 8 megapixel resolution, and uh, we've got the two and a half inch screen with an optical viewfinder. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, that's kind of rarity in, in uh, entry level cameras these days. Right. Uh, but what we really feel is that, uh, you know, as a traditional camera, you're, you're definitely going to find times when uh, the optical viewfinder will help you, uh, like on a bright sunny day or in a situation where uh, you'd like to be able to keep the camera as steady as possible. So, 249 is the retail. Also, uh, we're going to be introducing three new A-series cameras this year. We have the A590 IS. This is a, a very, very popular, high-selling type of camera with a four times optical zoom lens, eight megapixel resolution, a two and a half inch screen, and the optical finder, a full range of exposure modes, including manual exposure, so you can set your apertures and shutter speeds independently. And this is going to come in at a retail of only 179, which is $100 less than last year's model. With all that manual mode in there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a very, very versatile camera. Also, uh, this camera can accept supplementary lenses like wide-angle telephoto and, and close-up converters. Uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's just a, a terrific uh, learning camera, but also a lot of fun to use. Uh, we're going to be offering, uh, simultaneously with the 590 IS, the 5, A580 model which has basically got the same core specs as far as the lens, the four times optical zoom, the eight megapixel resolution, and the two and a half inch screen with optical finder. It does not have the stabilizer, and it sticks to the auto exposure modes only. And as a result, we're able to, to offer this at a price of $149.99. Uh, suggested retail. Right, right. And I'm sure that if you shop online, you'll be able to shop around and uh, find a variety of prices. So uh, uh, the last but not least is the, the new A470 model, which is at 129 it's the lowest intro price that Canon has ever offered on a digital camera. And this is replacing last year's model with a, with a lot of uh, step-up features. Now, uh, just the overall on the, these new power shots, uh, there's some new technology that we're introducing that's exclusive to Canon. Uh, one of them uh, is called motion detection technology. And the idea here is that we're actually looking at the subject and determining whether it's moving or stationary. What we'll do with that information is to adjust the ISO speed. Uh, and so what we'll do is basically raise the ISO when motion is detected. That has the ripple effect of raising the shutter speed to stop the motion blur. Also, is that across the power shot line? Yeah, it's basically available in all the new cameras. Uh, and we also have a, uh, a situation where when the stationary, stationary subject, uh, the ISO will be lowered for uh, less noise. Uh, and uh, the one very last feature, which is kind of hard to demonstrate on camera, but uh, it's a feature that we're calling AF point zoom, and it's very useful. It ties in with the face detection technology, and what happens is, is that when you are uh, looking at the screen on the camera and press the shutter button down halfway, it'll actually digitally zoom the face up to a higher magnification. And that's very, very practical because uh, it, uh, it makes it so that you can tell at a glance whether the subject is smiling the way you want or that they have their eyes open or closed. What about uh, availability on all these, these items? Well, all of the new power shots that are being uh, shown here at PMA are going to be delivered to the market in either late February or early March, so uh, roughly 30 days from now. Uh, the 55 to 250 IS is going to start rolling into the stores at about the same time. Oh, okay, very good. All right, thanks very much.